when last you have some tasty curry chicken look at this rich looking gravy and the flavor that is coming from this curry chicken is amazing come over to my kitchen to learn how you can make this tasty curry chicken in this recipe i'll be using some chicken leg and chicken thigh that is skinless and is washed clean here i'm adding two tablespoons of all-purpose season and i'll be adding a teaspoon of crushed pepper that is if you would like some spice i would prefer to use scotch bonnet but that is what i have at the moment so there also i'm adding some crushed pimento seed one tablespoon of curry powder and there I'm adding about three tablespoons of one of my favorite green season. So I'm going to give everything a nice mix, making sure all the chicken pieces is coated well. And once we have done this, we can allow the chicken to marinate for at least an hour. But the longer you allow it to marinate, the tastier the chicken will be. On medium high heat, we have our pan nicely hot with about two tablespoons of oil. We are going to add one tablespoon of curry powder and we are going to allow this to burn a little, not too much, just a little. This will help to give the chicken a better flavor and also a better color. After adding chicken pieces in the same dish, we are going to add about half cup of water and pour it over the chicken. Why I add the water to the dish is to make sure whatever season that is left over in the dish will be all on this lovely curry chicken. We don't want to waste anything. So about 15 or 20 minutes later, we are going to check back. So this time we are going to add the rest of our season. Here I'm adding two cups of water mixed with about three tablespoons of cornstarch. This will help to thicken the gravy. This will give you a nice thick gravy. Actually, I prefer to use the cornstarch than the flour. Some people use flour, but I prefer to use the cornstarch. To me, it gives a clearer and a more beautiful gravy. So I have a nice bowl of season here with half cup celery, half cup onion, quarter cup carrot, and that's about three bay leaves. And I'm about to add a half cup of chives, more season, you add more flavor you will get from your curry chicken and here also i'm adding some thyme and rosemary wow boy ladies and gentlemen i'm telling you the the combination of all these season oh my goodness this bring a mouth watering flavor the flavor is amazing that is coming from this curry chicken 
Just the look at it can tell you. And we are not done. Because at the end of this curry chicken, I am going to show you my final flavor. So we are going to allow this to continue to cook. Look how beautiful it is simmering. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new and delicious recipes. And a big thank you to my subscribers. So while your chicken is cooking, you want to check, check on it a few times, making sure nothing is not sticking. You want to stir to make sure every chicken pieces is absorbing that rich flavor that is in this gravy. Mm -mm -mm. What do you see you set yourself having with this curry chicken? I see dumpling, I see white flour dumpling, I see cornmeal dumpling, I see banana, I see some half, half ripe plantain, I see some rice, what else? I see some pumpkin, what do you see? Drop a comment below and let me know what would you have with this lovely curry chicken. And oh, I see some nice sweet potato, the orange sweet potato, that's one of my favorite. Some white potato can go also. So about an hour later, we have come to the final result of this lovely curry chicken. Like I mentioned before, the flavor that is coming from this chicken is marvelous, marvelous, lovely. As you can see for yourself, ladies and gentlemen, all these herbs is going to bring out the best flavor in your curry chicken. So we have one more final thing to do. And here, if you want to get the best flavor from your garlic, if you love the flavor of garlic in your stew, you want to add your minced garlic. This is about four. At the end of your cooking, just like this, you want to add it mix it right throughout the gravy make sure the gravy all chicken pieces is coated well with the gravy that is mixed properly with the garlic and what we are going to do after this we are going to turn the stove off cover your pot allow it to sit for about five to ten minutes you will get a nice garlic flavor. You don't want to leave it on the stove to continue cook or else this garlic flavor is going to disappear. If you want that nice garlic flavor, you just follow the instruction. After you add it, you turn the stove off, leave it for five to 10 minutes and your curry chicken is ready to serve enjoy bye